Hi guys, and my name is Yolita Brilliant. I'm the owner of Brilliant Massage and Skincare in Burlington, Vermont. And today I wanted to share with you stress effects um, on skin and body and pain and how to take care of a stressed skin and muscles and mind and body. Well, of course, uh, spa treated treatments come to mind, but um, there's things you can do in your daily life, like getting more sleep, because lack of sleep can really reflect on your skin condition. Even I know me personally, I get breakouts when I uh, work too much, don't sleep enough. Cortisol can cause breakouts in your skin, stress hormone. Um, also, muscles don't recover as quick if you tend to get headache, neck pain, back pain. Um, not sleeping enough, it's going to prevent muscles from recovering and resting. And if you um, ever body, did bodybuilding or no bodybuilders, you would probably know that sleeping is very important in muscle gains and recovery. So the same is for uh, stress relief and tension relief, getting more sleep and for better skin, you know, they say beauty sleep for a reason. But genetically, some people are okay with less sleep, but me personally, I need eight hours of sleep to do well. I can go for some period of time with less hours of sleep, but then it starts reflecting on my skin mostly. And also my muscles too. But first on my skin. Um, the other thing is um, doing activities that are stress reducing, uh, like hobbies, meditation, stretching yoga those things you can do at home when you can come let's say get a massage that week that you know if you're stressed out it will help you reduce stress um, and other thing is hydration and eating well and drinking good fluids if you do have coffee also make sure you do drink water or other things uh, like lemon water if you are bored of drinking plain water, um, seltzer is okay, and tea, tea is really good, herbal teas, there are calming herbal teas or energizing herbal teas, um, you know, spicy teas, black, green teas, you know, um, variety. Best is not sugary ones because sugar is not good for stress either. Uh, it can also be not good for your skin because it will cause as well uh, blood sugar levels rise and then drop which can also trigger anxiety actually the same as caffeine too much caffeine so if you drink, drink coffee I would recommend not one more than not more than one cup a day and of course like I mentioned it will depend on genetics these things so see what works best for your body experiment with different routines and ways to cope with stress and the daily life anxiety of course probably I don't even have to tell you that alcohol cigarette smoking those are stressors that also reflect in our skin it can make it wrinkly age much faster dehydrated um, so if you can do not do those activities and eat healthy a lot of vegetables and fruits high water content um, lean proteins fish uh, nutrient dense foods are going to be very beneficial for your skin and muscles and connective tissue and joints and ligaments and overall health now, if you do want to come get a facial or massage session, we are open in Burlington, Vermont at 35 King Street. And we would love to see you. So click a button down below if you're in the area. We also offer couples massage packages and memberships for locals with great rates. Um, 
you have any questions, post them in the comments down below. We also have online shop, which we sell skincare products, retinol for anti-aging, retinol alternatives like uh, our brilliant Bakuchio if you're too sensitive for retinol because retinol can be irritating for some people. This one is really great. It's hydrating. It's non-greasy. Great for any skin type. And many other fun stuff. Hydrators, cleansers, sunscreen is very important for anti-aging. Definitely will prevent skin from getting wrinkly and stressed too soon because sun is a big stressor on the skin. One of the biggest stressors. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm on Instagram at your leader brilliant. Follow me there. Subscribe to this YouTube channel and I'll see you next time. Bye.